In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, we gather this Saturday morning to worship God, to offer him our thanksgiving and praise for all he has been doing in our lives. In this Eucharistic celebration, we pray for our world, we pray for our country, we pray for our parish, we pray for our families, we pray in a very special way for all those who have already contacted the coronavirus. May the Lord, who is our healer, grant them divine healing. We also pray for our families, that God who promised to be there for us, we keep us safe in the, at this moment of crisis. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O oh Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our brother and master, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. prophet was there. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord. As certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smoke them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. It is mercy and desire, no sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. 
Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble. O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire, no sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness, by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire, no sacrifice. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tight on all my whole income. But the tax collector stood up at a distance, and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and said, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the letter went home justified not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, as we watch from the comfort of our home, I want to invite you to reflect with me on one of the obstacles that comes in our relationship with God, especially when we pray. It is pride. In the Gospel of today, Jesus communicated to us the value of humility. Uh, because of the crisis, we are all stuck at home. And because of the crisis, some of us are now compelled to find time to reflect on their life and their relationship with God. For us to do this and then gain blessings and graces from God, we must do it from a humble heart. God knows everything about us. If you read Psalm 139, Psalm 139 says, Lord, you know me through and through. You know my rising and my going later to bed. Even before a thought comes into my mind, you know it, Lord. And the psalm went on to say, Where can I go and hide away from you? If I go to the mountains, you are there. If I go to the earth, you are there. If I say, Let darkness cover me, darkness is not dark for you, Lord. That's the God we worship. He knows us through and through. So my dear brother, my dear sister, God seeks us, wants us to encounter him at that deepest level where we come to God as we are, in our vulnerability, in our doubts, in our confusion, in, our, in the uncertainty of our faith. God wants to us to come to him that way. That's the only time he can now transform us because he's a God that transforms. So the, the parable of the tax collector and the Pharisee is an example for us. Put away all those pride. 
somebody said, I think uh, William James said, at the feet of the cross, we are all in war. We all see the face of God. And the only way God will allow his face to shine on us is when we come to him in humility. My dear friends in Christ, this is a wonderful time. Being together with your family, accepting our shortcomings, accepting our sinfulness, accepting our bad choices, and asking God for forgiveness, and making a decision to turn a new leaf. These are the ingredients that, bring, that comes with humility. So my dear friends in Christ, my prayer today is that this good, good God who has allowed us to have this opportunity to worship him, we give us the grace to be humble so that the Lord himself will exalt us. Remember, this is a time of prayer. This is a time to love and support and care for one another. Let not the crisis be an obstacle to our faith. Let it rather strengthen our faith. Remember, Jesus said, in this world you will find tribulation, but be of great courage. I have overcome the world. Uh, those who persevere till the end will be saved. Remember to pray together. I gave out a psalm, and I'm inviting all our parishioners to continue to pray that psalm. Psalm 51, Psalm 91, and Psalm 118. We ask for God's blessings, God's healing upon our life and families. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us present our petitions to the Lord our God, who desire our honest and open prayers. That all members of the church may grow in love and knowledge of God through his grace and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that judges, juries, and law enforcement officials may be guided by God in balancing judgment with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal and bind up the wounds of those injured or recovering from surgery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those gathered here whose hearts are experiencing despair may be blessed with the consolation of God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may return with the Lord to his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of Katie Reinbold, for whom this Holy Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now I will lead us in a prayer in times of pandemic. May we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our own children when their schools close remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of this economic market remember those who have no margin at all. May we who settle in for a quarantine at home remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose to love. During this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around one another, let us find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. Amen. God of the prophets, you call us back to you this land in need of your healing and merciful love, grand deeds and all prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we have the humble and contrite heart. Lord, share my sins and give you more and more Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, Grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. Thou the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph our spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's commands and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other now the sign of Christ's peace. Peace and love of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be here. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. I now invite you all as I lead you in spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My dear friends, as you know, uh, this uh, Mass is recorded, so you can always watch the Mass at any time of the day but I encourage that you watch it at a time when you watch with your family, so that after watching the Mass, you say the prayers I recommended. Remember Psalm 51, Psalm 91, and Psalm 118. Every day we do the Mass, 9 a.m. in the morning. We, we pray for you, I am looking at the pictures of my parishioners, all in the pews. So my heart reaches out to you. My faith and my hope is that the God we trust, the God we worship, will hearken to our voice and then save us from this crisis. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them 
with abundant faith in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. to me
You have given them bread from heaven. Having renewed within it all sweetness, let our hearts pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Bless be God, bless be his holy name, bless be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, bless be the name of Jesus, bless be his most sacred heart, bless be his most precious blood, bless be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, bless be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all, we bow before thee, all on earth thy Savior claim. 